Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Terror Attack. Holy crap, this guy's about to attack. Hold on, hold on one second, guys. So I was gonna let you guys know that this guy was doing fairly decently, uh, and then I left him to go mine so that I could build some more stuff, and he went ahead and went into stupid mode. And what I mean by stupid mode is he decided to run off in some weird direction for no reason whatsoever and get himself completely and totally destroyed. As you can see, he lost his his two battery packs, which cost quite a bit of money, and uh, he almost got completely destroyed. He lost quite a few blocks. Uh, he lost one of his good weapons. And uh, yeah, he's he was just on the verge of being completely annihilated basically for no reason whatsoever. He went and fought a bot that had uh, had one weapon. That was it, just one weapon. I uh, went ahead and brought this guy down who had shields and like 15, 20 weapons and was doing amazingly out there uh, because I wasn't controlling him and I'm not quite sure why he felt it necessary to go off. So I had to take control over him again and now I'm trying to figure out how to trap him. Because I don't want him to get destroyed, but I do need those blocks. And he's a freaking nuisance, man. He, the AI, is, is starting to really tick me off, to 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 a great extent. Because it just makes it impossible to control any of the other bots uh, without, you know, your most valuable one just running off and and just getting himself completely annihilated. So I'm trying to get him stuck over here on one of these these little things. I kind of wish that another one of these bots would come over here and ram them from behind like they were doing before, but when you need it, they're nowhere to be found, so... Because now I have to not only buy, uh, you know, battery packs, but I have to... I have to fix what he's destroyed, and he's destroyed quite a bit. And I've also been finding it difficult to click on these guys. Now, I know you're supposed to be able to just click on the cab, uh, or anywhere on the bot, and take it over, but as you can see, I'm clicking like crazy. Uh, and nothing is going on. There we go, finally. So, oh, and of course he's stuck. What a piece. Okay, we're going to take that off because that is one of the main reasons he gets stuck all the time. Oh, and what a surprise. This guy found his way free. So can I can I wedge him in there like that or is he going to get his way out? No, he's going to find his way out. This guy is one determined bot to go and mess me up somehow. So he looks like he's stuck. Can you Can you stay stuck there for like 12 years? And let me, you know, do something else other than babysit you. Uh, maybe. Can I take this over? Come on. I know. I can see the cab right there. Come on. Let me click on it. <laughs> it's not letting me do anything. Yeah, it's kind of glitchy uh, when you have this many bots. I've never done this many bots before. And it's really not letting me do anything. You're supposed to be able to just double click on it. And it always works before. There we go. Finally. Now, what I was trying to do, as I said before, is... Oh, great. There goes a the little guy, which is the only thing keeping this, this one guy in place. Uh, although it looks like he may be stuck. Yes, stay right there. Be very, very quiet, guys. Don't disturb him. Is he sleeping? Yeah, he's sleeping. Don't wake the baby. Okay, so we're going to put this over here. No, that's not going to work either. We need to... Oh, we lost one of our, our pads. That's why it's not lining up on the other side. Holy crap. Talk about lag central, man. This is crazy being this close to my base. Okay, so this should work a little bit. There we go. Not exactly the most stable of connections. Uh, you know, if he gets shot one or two times, it'd probably fall off. Let's put this in here. There we go. Give it a little bit more support. A little bit more weight, too. Uh, and then, of course, now it won't move. This is... This this bot was doing fairly decently. Oh, did you come over here to nudge me out, or are you going to try to go off and attack an enemy and not fire your weapon once? Uh, probably the latter. Probably going to go get some self-destroy. Okay, there you go. Yeah, stay next to the base. Stay. Yes, that's right. Stay. Sit. 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 No. <laughs> is he a little puppy or something? He. Oh, he's going to go run. He's going to run for it. What's he doing? Oh my god. Stop it with the lag. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, so... Is there an enemy over here? Because if there is, he's gonna go after it. And he's not gonna win. Oh, man. I, I, I don't feel safe letting him 
just go off. There's is there an enemy? No, that's one of my guys. You can see him over there in the distance, just spinning around in circles for no reason. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna risk it. We're gonna leave him there. If he dies, that that's gonna be heartbreaking. But you know, there's there's not a whole lot we can do about it because, again, when the new patch comes out, I'm gonna go ahead and restart the level from scratch so that we can see the the different changes uh, as they make them. Oh, we got some green crystal back, but I'm not gonna do it with this bot. And apparently, this guy wants to help out. Hey, yeah, go go attack that bot and die. No, let me take you over. Come on, let me take you over, punk. God dang it. There we go. And he lost a weapon? He lost a weapon for no reason? Did I do that? I couldn't have done that. He lost two weapons and a will. There's no way I could have done that. How did he lose two weapons and a will? That doesn't even make any sense. Where did the will come off from? Right here? Looks like he lost some blocks. And the weapons were on those blocks. So yeah, again, that doesn't make any sense. The, the block just disappeared or what? Hmm. That's kind of disconcerting that blocks can just vanish like that. Can we kill this guy over here? Now, this this weapon on top, it does a 360 degree angle. I don't know if it can shoot down and up. It does look like it can. So this guy, my harvester is still harvesting. That's fine. If he can do that, I'll go ahead and kill these or mine these. The problem you can see right here is my weapons are a little too high. They're, they're facing on the... They're like the third level, fourth level, I think they're up three blocks, uh, just to ensure that they have a clear view over everything. And that's that's posing a problem when we're fighting these smaller bots. It, it does get in the way the fact that you can't hit them because you're too high. So I may have to lower that and just accept the fact. Uh, oh, there we go. This is one of my bot my pieces over here. I can't drag it from that far over. Let's go over there and get it. Woo, baby, slow down. Gonna get a speeding ticket, guys. Okay, so we want to drag this block over here, get rid of this wheel. When I get rid of it, we're gonna replace it in a second. There we go. And I think this, this design is actually working out. This kind of like spider design with the legs coming out every so often. It gives our bot a little bit more weapon damage. Plus, in the middle, it gives our bot a place to put our battery packs and stuff and as you can see I was putting blocks on the sides over here uh, to protect the battery pack and stuff I didn't anticipate uh, my bot would uh, you know lose his mind and go crazy as he's been doing and there's not much I can do about it because I can't seem to harvest without him you know going bonkers so I guess the only thing I can do is I can take the last battery the last one I have, and that may pose a problem with my base. Uh, it may get destroyed here because I may lose all my shielding. Um, hmm. I don't know how that's going to work. The battery packs, how much are they? I was looking at the wheels. The wheels are like 800. They're not that bad. Or actually, I think they were 1,200, the ones I wanted. And I'll show you guys what those look like. You go up here to the, the Venture, and you'll see them right here now. Make sure to buy the right ones. As you can see, there's two different kinds of wheels here, and they kind of both look the exact same as far as the picture goes. Uh, but these Venture Globetrotter wheels are the ones that I have on this bot right now. They're the, the long ones that go out to the side. These Venture Spring wheels, I'm guessing those are the large ones that we just got. And you can kind of see the connectors right here that actually connect to the bot. They look different. But as far as like the actual design, it doesn't show you that this is the long one. It doesn't even give you a very good description. I mean, it tells you it will leave everybody else in the dust, but it doesn't tell you that it's a small, uh, narrow wheel. I guess they figured that you would already know, because the only way to get this is to have already unlocked it. But it does make it kind of difficult when you put both wheels like that next to each other that kind of look the exact same size. Uh, but again, they're, they're different prices, so the ones we really want are the $1,200 ones. And the only reason we want these is to upgrade our harvester, which we can't use because this bot won't let us. So I kind of wish maybe there was a sit command. Uh, we do want to get some more of these these rapid fire, uh, these venture weapons. These are really, really cool. This is a high rate of fire and medium range, a reliable if underpowered weapon. So it doesn't do as much damage apparently as some of the other weapons, but it does seem to uh, do more in the essence that it can spin around 360 degrees, which is awesome. So your bot is a little bit less vulnerable to attacks from the side. And if you have a bot like mine, 
which is more reliant on speed, I think these are probably going to be better for you at least to have like four or five in the middle of your bot that can spin around, whereas on the side you can go back with more traditional weapons. Uh, so there's just tons and stuff, tons of stuff in here. But let's go back to the GSO one because I need to see if I can find a battery pack for around $420, which is not going to happen, but uh, we want to see exactly how close we are. Uh, here we go, battery cell, $1,000 for battery cell. And we don't have that, so we're going to have to do without, apparently. But this bot does seem to be ready to go. I mean, it's not as strong as it could be. It's missing a few weapons, and it doesn't have that extra battery pack, so it won't be able to stay out for long. But, yeah, we're going to go kill, and we're going to get away from this lag, because it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, that may be a reason to download the next patch, is that maybe we've reached the limit of what uh, the game can handle over here next to our base with seven bots and <laughs> and a huge base that might be the limit uh, as you get further and further away from that you can see the lag clears up just just fine I mean it looks beautiful again and of course I could lower the probably that that might work is lowering the the graphics on the computer but I've done that before in the past and it didn't really seem to do all that much it didn't seem to really help so I think it's more on on their side as far as uh, you know just refining the system but that's that's something that they're gonna do last I would imagine uh, with programming you're gonna finalize everything before you go in there and, and change things like that and make it run smoother I would imagine but who knows I don't know that much about programming so is this my guy what's he doing all the way out here dude is crazy look how far away he is from my base I'm over here exploring fighting like really tough creatures and he's just chilling out here he doesn't have a weapon on him so he can't go mining and there's some new kind of stone out here. I don't know what that is. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, a cluster of sparkling ignite bristling emerges from the sand. Oh, that's interesting. We may have to come out here and and mine that. Let's see if we can pop a wheelie over this. Woo! Oh, yeah, we caught some air there. That was pretty cool. Now, it is getting dark out here. I wonder why. I did... Now, as far as I know, there is no limit to the map from what I've heard from uh, from our viewers. Uh, it just keeps going and going and going. And from experience, I can tell you, uh, it goes for at least 45 minutes. I one day sat here and I just wanted to see what would be at the end. You know, can I can I go in a circle and come back to my base? And the answer was a resounding no. <laughs> you would go off uh, for 45 minutes in one direction. And if you want to go back to your base, you got to turn around and come back and do another 45 minutes. So... Yeah, I, I, what I did is I did that right before I went ahead and uh, upgraded to another patch. And so I was going to restart anyways. And so I never had to come back and, and get that bot. He's, he's in some universe. He's still out there exploring the land and, and seeing what uh, weird things he can find. Uh, it's kind of weird land out here. This is kind of a cool little area. So I think on this one, we're just going to explore. Maybe we'll run into an enemy. Maybe we won't. But this is the fastest, coolest bot we've had so far. Uh, and he doesn't get stuck easy. Now this this hill is way too tough for him. I'm gonna have to back up and go in a different direction. That's just too steep. He doesn't like that. Maybe if I had built up enough speed, I could have gone over that like this. There we go. But yeah, if you stop and you lose your momentum, uh, a lot of the time you get stuck on objects and and hills that you normally wouldn't have to, uh, because you don't have that speed behind you. So it does have that mechanic in there. Uh, wow, what is this? It's like, uh, maybe a tried-out riverbed or something. You know, it'd be kind of cool uh, if they integrated maybe some kind of like craft the world uh, or um, you know Minecraft kind of thing into the game where you could shape the earth maybe a little bit in some ways. Maybe if you get some really powerful weapons or some diggers or some uh, drills or something like that, you could drill into these mo or these mountains and make a tunnel going through them. So if you have a really, really big bot, uh, you don't have to go over it anymore. You can just, you know, tunnel right down the center of it or something. I think that would be kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think on that one. I, I'm kind of interested to know if if you want to see other features that they haven't added in there. If you guys have any cool ideas that you want the uh, the designers to know about, let me know because I do post on their, their form and I let them know what I think and I you know, I post the links to these videos as well. So 
if they do watch them, maybe they will see that and be like, you know, that's a good idea. We might try that. Uh, although I'm pretty sure they got their hands full with tons and tons of other stuff that they want to integrate into the game, which every game's company seems to have. Holy crap, we found an enemy out here. We're going to take him on. Now, he's probably going to destroy our shields, which is going to be a problem for the next guy. Uh, actually, he's not. Oh, he did. He destroyed him. Suck. No. Can we kill him? I don't know if it's worth it to kill him. Because we may lose a whole bunch out here. Come on, let me kill him, man. Dang it. He's 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 an expert. I mean, he's, he's just circling us like we're a noob. <laughs> oh, he lost his weapon. There we go. You're dead, punk. So I got some new wills. How do I take advantage of these wills? Maybe if I go a little bit more to the front, I'll do another couple wheels up this way. And we'll just keep doing that, making it more and more like a like a spider. Kind of, oh, there's another wheel. Uh, I don't know what to do. I guess we could put it over here on one of these sides. Not really useful that much, but we'll try it. And I guess, I guess that's probably going to be the end of our exploration out this direction. We're going to head back. We're going to head back going at an angle... Uh, checking out some new land. Maybe we'll run into another guy. I do, now that I have this theory that the the, the blocks that you pick determine the blocks uh, or the enemies that you find. Uh, so if you use a lot of GSOs, it seems like you get a lot of GSO enemies. If you use a lot of these venture blocks, it seems like you get a lot of enemies with venture blocks uh, on them. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe I will make a bot that has nothing but the, the yellow ones on there. And go off and see if I can find somebody, you know, like an enemy with those as well. Because I do want to get those big wheels. Those those are like my dream thing, you know. This is the stuff I've been talking about since we started this one. Uh, and they are amazing. But then again, at the same time, if we're going to be doing another patch uh, and starting from scratch, that may be something I just go ahead and wait on uh, and see maybe what some of the new changes are. Because it doesn't really take that long to get back to this point, you know, where you have a base and you have all the good stuff. You can do that within, uh, you know, 40, 50 minutes of actually playing, so that's like one episode to get back to pretty much where we're at. Now, creating all the different bots, that takes a while, but, you know, as you can see, some of our bots work, some of them don't. I kind of like this design now that we have it, so I may be inclined to make this one more in the future than the other ones, and I think that just goes because of the, the new you know, mechanic of the weight and the wheels, because, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that these wheels can only support so much weight, I'd probably be still doing, like, the giant tank ones, but, you know, because they don't, uh, I'm gonna have to go with something more lightweight and faster and just more agile. What is that over there? It's like a monolith or something. This could be just a giant rock. Turn to the right, there it is. Yep, it's just a giant rock. Although, you know, it'd be cool if they threw some easter eggs in here, you know, maybe like if you traveled 45 minutes uh, or really, really far in the direction of like the moons, I, I think those are moons out there, maybe they're planets, I don't know. But maybe if you traveled in those directions, they could throw like the monolith from 2001, the Space Odyssey, you know, just sitting out here like it kind of was in the invasion. Holy crap, I haven't seen an invasion in a while. I don't know if I want to fight an invasion with this guy. This guy doesn't have a shield. Invasions, for those of you who haven't seen those, because they are kind of rare. Uh, nowadays they are anyways, and the, it, when they were doing some of the updates, they were so common that they would happen like every 10 seconds. You couldn't even recover from the first one before you had another one on you. Uh, what they are is if somebody takes a snapshot of their, their bot and sends it to, I think it's Twitter or something like that, uh, it shares it with the other people who are playing, and occasionally that exact bot will spawn on somebody else's map. And so, people who were doing this were creating these huge bots with tons and tons of weapons. Like, it was their their main bot that they were, like, really proud of, and they spent a lot of time on it. And they would do that, and because of that, when they came, they just had, like, the best blocks on them. And if you could destroy them, which was incredibly hard, most of the time you didn't. Holy crap. Those are the giant wills, but I can't, I can't kill that guy. Not like this. I'm gonna have to come back and get him. Now, he will chase you down. From what I remember, he will continue to uh, to track you. Now it's going to take him some time because he's not anywhere near as fast as I am. But uh, yeah, they are they are definitely tough, and I might be able to do it if I had my shields. But because I don't, 
that's going to pose an issue. Well, let's see if we can get back as quick as possible. Get back over here to Lag Central. What, are, what happened to all these trees? I, I've never seen trees growing on the ground like that. That's kind of weird. Uh, I would show you if I could get the camera angle. So those aren't broken trees. Those, those are actual trees that are still on the ground. I can shoot them. And you can see they just popped up. That's weird. That's some kind of weird bug that I, I haven't seen. Uh, I don't really see if there's a problem to it. I mean, yeah, it's it's weird to look at, but as far as causing issues, uh, probably not. And this one's still bugged. It still says there's something there when obviously there is not. Uh, and because of that, I can't go to the next one. It, it usually tells you, okay, there's something special here. Go over here. Uh, it keeps telling me to come back to this one thinking that I haven't found it yet and that's kind of hampering us finding a lot more blocks uh, you know with the help of the computer with the, with their aid kind of I just have to go off in one direction and hope maybe I find something which which is cool I mean that, that's nice to explore like that in fact they may leave it as an option to to disable that feature so it doesn't just lead you by the nose but uh, I can see that guy from really far away where's my base where's my base it couldn't have got destroyed. It shows it being here. Can I go through it? Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, this thing's bugging out on me, guys. So we will go ahead and... Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. This is going to be a short episode. I wanted to try to take that guy on, but if I don't have a base here to, to heal up with, there's not a whole lot I can do against that guy. I'd probably just die. So I do apologize for that. You can see him. He's firing at something. Uh, probably one of my guys are out there. But again, guys, if you enjoy these videos, please take a moment, hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely leave comments down below. You know I love to hear back from you guys on your ideas. You guys have some amazing ideas <clears throat> and some really good tips to share. So I do appreciate when you guys leave those things down below. And I'm going to go ahead and end <clears throat> the epi episode here because he is going to destroy one of my bots if I don't get out there pretty quick. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.